Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico and it is time for another edition of Friday Quickies. And today our theme is quick Christmas cards. It is the season. I'm so sorry to tell you, but Christmas is going to be here before you know it. I think the best way to get a jump on Christmas is to make some easy, quick Christmas cards. The other awesome way to get a jump on Christmas cards is to order one of my Christmas card kits. There'll be more information about that on my blog, but I want to share with you some really easy, quick ideas using some of my favorite stamps from the new holiday catalog. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is just how to make some really easy cards that don't take forever and don't take a ton of supplies to make. So the first one I want to show you is this ridiculously adorable Santa card because this one's my favorite and there's so many cute things about it. First of all, uh, it uses the stamp set Cookie Cutter Christmas, which I love, 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 love because it's so dang cute and sweet. It makes all kinds of adorable little things. There's a reindeer. This is a teddy bear, although it does kind of remind me of the kid from A Christmas Story that can't put his arms down. I mean, we all know that kid, right? <laughs> um, there's an adorable Santa, a gingerbread, and an Eskimo. Hello. I love all of these. I think they're so cute, and there's lots of fun things you can do with them. Of course, this teddy bear also works fantastically for things beyond Christmas, and I think that so does the Eskimo. I think this is a great way to to say thank you for your Christmas gifts after the holidays too. Now I will show you some great tips with this. Of course I'm going to have a card kit and an online class for this stamp set. I mean come on. Of course because this is so cute and easy and I think the reason that it's so cute and easy is because it's got a punch that coordinates. I love this punch. It's so adorable. Lots of things we can do with that so stay tuned. Um, I also am using the Jar of Cheer stamp set today or showcasing it. Ha uh ha. -huh. Of course there's an online class for this. Love this card or this uh, stamp set because it goes with my absolute favorite stamp set, the Jar of Love set from the crisp or the big catalog that has all those beautiful flower bouquets that you can create with the different size jars. So this has kind of a nice thin walled jar and has some really fantastic things that you can put inside, even this little cute candy thing and a nice bow. Again, these all coordinate with the Jar of Love stamp set and coordinating framelits from the big catalog. I know many of you already have them. And so this is a great way to kind of coordinate with products that you already have, which is one thing I just love about this holiday catalog. So that is super cute and easy. And I have some amazing, awesome cards to go with this one. Um, the next set is probably what really struck or er, stuck out, not struck, stuck out as, as one of my favorite things from the holiday catalog. And that's the Christmas pine set. These are all, by the way, smaller on the picture. They're much bigger in person to give you an idea. Here's the, the stamp right here, much bigger. But I love the stamp set. It's got this gorgeous on-trend script writing. These are so fun, and I love the look of them. And I love the pine cone and pine bows that are in the stamp set. They're so cute and actually pretty versatile. You can turn these into um, pumpkin or not. Oh, my gosh. I did this again. <laughs> The summer when I was shooting a video, pineapple. Oh my gosh. If any of you guys saw that video and remember me saying pine or pumpkin, here we go. Sorry. Anyway, I, I really love this set. And this set has amazing accessories to go with it too, including some adorable little pine cone trinkets and an embossing folder. So fun. Um, and that was this really simple and easy card that I made super fun. Then last but not least is probably the best set in the holiday catalog. Oh, I can't say that. Oh my gosh. They're like my kids. I can't pick just one. Oh my gosh. I really do like this set. It is so, so beautiful. There are gorgeous stamped images that coordinate with even more gorgeous in, uh, framelits that coordinate with the stamp set. Here's a really simple card that I made using the stamp set. I love kind of the different color combo and um, the fun embellishments. So easy. Mail's great. Love it. Okay, now I have jabbered on for quite long enough. Let's get to some stamping because that's what this is all about, right? 
Okay, so I have to show you this card because it's so dang cute. Now this card is very simple, but it does have a few extra steps. Um, but I still think that it ends up being a pretty easy card. So let me show you how I put it together. First of all, I will of course fold my card. This is real red cardstock, and this is the Candy Cane Christmas paper. Isn't that cute? I really had a hard time covering this up, but I like the stripes with my Santa. Um, I'm going to use Fast Fuse because it's sticky and it's easy and it's quick. What more could you want? I just think taking that out of context is also wrong, though. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I noticed that my um, printed paper is just a skosh longer, so I just, because I am a certain amount of anal in my card making, I gotta just trim that off. I'm sorry. Anyway, there we go. Now what I'm going to do is use my classic label punch, or I think that's what this is called. I believe so. And I'm gonna punch this little section out. I don't have it in all the way. I just have it in a little ways. Okay. And then I'll save these pieces because you never know what we could come up with for those. But I'm using this to create a window because, are you ready for this? I mean, it's going to be kind of cuteness overload. So prepare yourselves. Ha ha ha. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I love how cute this is. So let me show you how I did the rest of that. I've got my window cut open. And so I'm going to place my card in here like so. Notice I did not adhere it. The reason is because if I mess up, I can still turn it over. And that is important because a girl likes to have the option of messing up at her disposal should she need it. So I'm just going to grab my black ink pad. And I am using archival because I mostly use archival, but also because I'm going to color in the snowman, or Santa, pardon me. Oh my gosh, here's my new pumpkin. It's a snowman. No, it's Santa, Dina. Come on, get it together. Okay, so had I messed this up, I could have just flipped my cardstock over. So that is good. We're good to go. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is bring in my paper because I'm messy. Protect my work area. Now I I did this on the inside of the card, you probably noticed, and I just thought it was so dang cute. I just had kind of my photo bombing peeking in, checking on, checking his list twice, knows what you're doing when you're awake or sleeping, whatever, you know what I'm saying. Santa, I have him in here. I'm just looking for my from Santa because I need that stamp. Um, the two words are from... The stamp set, Oh What Fun, which I'll grab here in one second. This was a set that was in last year's catalog, Oh What Fun. And it's kind of cute, but it's got some really sweet sayings in here. So I loved the From Santa and the Ho Ho Ho, because I just thought that was so darling. Okay, now the other thing that I love is the stamp set has this little um, Santa's hat, poof, whatever you want to call that. That I put up there. And then all I'm going to do is use my markers to color in the hat really easy as well as his outfit because Santa's got to wear his red suit of course. And I just think this is so cute and easy to put on the side. Now I love coloring. I've always loved coloring. Um, I think that's part of why I like stamping is because you can color. <laughs> but um, this is such a relaxing thing to do, like in front of the TV. You know, there's, there's a reason all these adult coloring books are out there because it's just so fun to, um, to color and relax and, re and color. I just think it's kind of therapeutic, really. Okay, so I'm just going to color in his belt. And, oh, I missed his gloves. Because, of course, he's got his red gloves on. And then to make Santa adorable, he had to have some rosy cheeks. So I just did my little pink marker on there. And there is Santa. So dang cute. I'll adhere this and put it inside my card. And, of course, whenever you're... Oops, that is my sample. Whenever you are stamping, I think it is such a great idea. First of all, we got to make sure we line this up. So I'm trying to place this so I'm not actually adhering it down. That looks pretty good, though. Um, there we go. 
Oh dear, I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh no, I can't remember what I'm saying. Ugh. I don't know. That's terrible. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll just keep going. Seriously. I'm sure I'm going to rewatch this and be like, oh, Dina, seriously. Okay. <laughs> but um, what I love about this stamp is that you have the option to punch it out, which I think is so brilliant. And the way that it was designed, of course, is that it works with a multitude of images, including an adorable Halloween stamp set, which is just so awesome. And so I'm just going to add the coloring on here again. I seriously, gosh, that's bugging me. I apologize. Sometimes I think about the commentary that I put in these videos and wonder if you all think I'm like clinically insane. <laughs> it's um, one of those things where no matter what, even if I have every possible thing prepared, you start that video camera, which in this case is my phone, and all of the brain activity in my head completely ceases. I don't want red shoes, though. I want black shoes. At least some brain power stays behind. Not a lot, but a little. Okay, so anyway, I do all of this good stuff, and I think I'm all ready to go to shoot my video, and it never fails. I start shooting, and then, like, something happens. I just forget. <laughs> but I think that often leads to interesting commentary. Maybe not so much tonight, because you're probably like, whatever, Dina. But it's always a good time. Okay, and then don't forget, of course, cute little rosy cheeks on Santa, because that's just so dang sweet. And then, the oh, the last thing I wanted to color in was the inside of the belt buckle. Okay, oh my gosh, and I'm doing it again. So earlier today, I did this, and you can see this is after I've washed my hands about eight times or whatever. Um, and here I have covered myself in ink. You know what this is from? This is the bad side of spritzing. This is like the, this is like your don't do drugs poster. This is what happens when you spritz. Um, it gets on the inside of a cap of your pen and then you're covered in ink and you can't really get away from that. Okay, so hopefully I will get enough of this off so that I won't ruin my project because that's always what happens. But I'm just going to punch this out. Oh my gosh, I just love how simple this is. So I line him up, punch him out. Adorable. And then what's so cute is there's all these other little pieces in here. There's the circles, the heart, and the bow tie. So you can jazz up any of these things. And they work with the Halloween set as well, because I've actually demonstrated that on my blog a couple of times. So you have to check that out if you haven't uh, seen it yet. I'm going to take some of my red glimmer paper and my two and a half inch uh, circle punch, which I know is discontinued, but if you have the layering circle framelits, you can use that as well. There's a very similar size. I'm not sure if it's exactly two and a half inches, but it's close enough to totally work. I will pop this up because everything's better popped up. And then I'm going to do just like the most awesome thing in the whole wide world, which is I am going to put a pom-pom on his head. So this is our pom-pom trim. And I'm just going to kind of um, cut off one of the pom-poms. And if you kind of just get there, what I, well, I just kind of cut it out of the trim a little bit so that I kind of held the bottom together because I wasn't sure what like constitutes a pom-pom on this trim if I could just slice it right off and stick it on or what but it seems to hold together just fine so I will just glue dot my little pom-pom onto Santa's hat and how stinking cute is that and what's nice is these aren't very thick so you won't have any trouble mailing it it's not like a big bow or a button or something thick which is wonderful because of after, at the end of the day what we're really trying to do here is mail these out right okay sometimes my fast fuse doesn't like sticking to the backing it's kind of a plasticky backing on the back of this glimmer paper which kind of holds everything together but 
it's working out just fine. If you're having trouble with that, just put the adhesive on the card itself versus the backing. But aren't these so fun? All the photos, details, and online classes will be on my blog, so check it out. Thanks, guys. Happy stamping!